as I told you in my introduction, uh, we have been working using uh, um, uh, working with sustainable food production and consumption since the beginning of 2000. Uh, and uh, we have been using our purchase to support sustainable production and also trying to introduce it to serving the food and try to, to uh, teach uh, the, uh, the children how to appreciate uh, uh, sustainable and uh, nutritious eating habits. Um, Uh, we call, us, call ourselves a living, living lab for sustainable food systems because we are trying to, to continuously cooperate with the society, uh, the business and uh, the academy, acad academia. Uh, and the fundament of all our work is this, uh, uh, this meal concept based on research from the agriculture. Uh, we have been, uh, we introduced it, we invented it and introduced it in 2010 uh, in a former EU pr project. Uh, and uh, it's actually, it's very similar to the Eat Lancet uh, Commission reference diet. Diet unit in Södertälje. Uh, in Sweden, uh, uh, the, the school meals from year one are financed by taxes, so uh, the children and the, the pupils in the school up to from one year to 18 years get f free school meals every day. So it's kindergartens, primary schools, uh, secondary schools, in also institutions for elder people and we serve around 3,000 portions per day. Uh, and uh, we have this food budget uh, uh, around 12 million euros per, per year. Uh, as uh, you can see, it's, uh, we, we support six other municipalities uh, with their procurement. Uh, because, uh, ah, as the uh, earlier speaker uh, there are, uh, said, it's, it's great challenges to, to, um, uh, to get sustainable food on the plate. So that's why we, we have developed these skills during the years. So that's why we help other municipalities with their procurement. We have been working with a number of uh, development projects during the years, and that is a part of uh, mainly the, the reason till why we have been so successful in this work. Uh, and. Uh, as I said earlier, we have 13,000 portions every day, so we reach 15, approximately 15% 15 of uh, uh, the whole the Södertälje municipality's citizens. Uh, and that is a great effect, actually. We are also, uh, we have been, uh, uh, there has been a lot of awards uh, during the years. We have been gotten a lot, lot of attention by, uh, of our work. Uh, and we have becoming a, like a, a front runner when it comes to, to using public procurement uh, and, uh, and um, public meal as a driver for, for uh, uh, sustainable food production and consumption in Sweden. And in the, in the municipality, we work in a very broad perspective. We have the diet unit, the meal production, but uh, we also have uh, our city planning office that are very involved in the, the work uh, uh, when it comes to stimulate locally produced uh, uh, food. Because uh, they, they have this uh, 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 city planning map that they are in charge of uh, and uh, they can decide what you should do where. And that is very important because uh, Södertälje has a huge city. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's an urban rural city, uh, municipality, but we have a lot of uh, uh, urban... Um, it, it's a huge city. So uh, that's why people want to, somewhere to live and, and they want to buy things and so on and so on. So uh, uh, it's very important that the municipality uh, try to find ways to protect the agricultural land. So that is what we have been doing very, very much. We have built up a number of strategies uh, to protect this agricultural land. 
We are also using our work a lot in our city branding because people like good food, good high quality food. And we have also been working a lot trying to increase the number of jobs in the, in the green sector. Uh, and um, when it comes to public procurements, you have, all, you, you have to continuously be very creative. Um, uh, and uh, what we've done here is an example. This uh, is a, a corporation. They, they uh, lease land owned by the municipality and they grow the vegetables. Uh, and then you can... Uh, you, you, uh, uh, pay a certain amount for a piece of land as uh, if you want the vegetables, then you get the outcome uh, fr from uh, what is growing on this piece of land. So, uh, if, if, so, so we, the, the municipality, we have a contract in, by season with this organization, but also a lot of uh, consumers that live, this is uh, in, in a small town in the municipality, so a lot of citizens uh, can go and, and buy vegetables from, from this uh, um, 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 organization, uh, but they can't actually decide what they get in, in their basket. It, it depends on what, what is growing. So that is a very successful method. Uh, and we also uh, demand education in, in gardening because there are a number of uh, uh, kindergartens and, and uh, some uh, primary school uh, nearby, so, so uh, in the springtime they, they, they can grow things and, and uh, on, in the autumn they can harvest their food. So it's very successful. Uh, this is another example of uh, creative uh, uh, procurement. Um, this, it's uh, in the city, okay, it's in the city near the commuter rail. Um, it's a, a social uh, enterprising. Uh, they combine uh, uh, activities connected to people who are employed and the rehabilitation, and also they are selling vegetables to private per persons, but we, we also, the municipality, buy a lot of vegetables from them. And, and for them, the difference between uh, surviving and not surviving is, uh, is uh, the purchase that the municipality are buying from them. They need uh, us to be the customer. Uh, and then we have a project going on now. It's a huge project, uh, uh, business development project, uh, where we uh, we support companies in the whole Stockholm region. Uh, but we are based in Södertälje to become more sustainable, successful, and employ employ more. And we are also building this regional node to permanent it and to continue to work uh, with the. Uh, number of activities connected to food production, sustainable food production and consumption. Uh, and we, we are uh, um, arranging networks, we have a number of development programs and uh, we help them to develop products. Uh, we have, a, uh, for example, uh, those, uh, we have around 100 kitchens that we have developed to a test bed, is the public kitchens. Uh, so we help them uh, develop products based on Swedish in ingredients or in ingredients that you can grow in Sweden. Uh, so for example, uh, there is one company, they have these uh, 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 cereals from S Sweden. So instead of using rice and pasta that we have to import, we try to, to invent new appetizing recipes where they use barley, oat, wheat that you can grow, uh, f uh, of course, whole grain. Uh, we uh, made uh, these burgers over there, it's, it's made from uh, former egg-laying hens, because in Sweden uh, uh, you don't eat Hen meat is not very popular, so that's why a company, we help them to invent products that people actually eat. So hen burger uh, is a great success today in Sweden uh, from a former waste from the egg laying industry. So we're trying to, and this is uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, soya uh, uh, vegetable meat, instead of using soya beans, this is made of uh, 
green peas that you can grow in Sweden. So that is examples. Uh, and uh, to help them, support them to, to get into the market, we uh, have this monitoring system where we decide how much we should buy uh, every, every year and we do follow it up every month so that we actually buy it. So, it gets, so they get the business and that they can survive. And also we try to spread it to other municipalities so that they can survive with their product. So I'm out of time. Uh, but uh, should I say that we work a lot with, uh, with uh, uh, authorities in, in the county uh, uh, because uh, they, they are responsible for agriculture on the national level and we have to work very broad. So, so, and that is also a part of our success, that we work very uh, broad with the, the um, stakeholders that... that uh, are depend that the food producers are depend on, depending on. So now, now until from 2070, uh, we have uh, been working with around 150 companies uh, that uh, uh, and supported them in some way. So this is a great success, and I think that this kind of project should should be in all regions in in whole in whole europe then you really will support those uh, those companies and we will make a change so thank you <laughs> Uh, so if you want to get in contact with me, because I, as I said earlier, uh, we are looking for partners in upcoming EU program period, uh, you should just uh, um, uh, get in contact with me. And you have this uh, homepage, uh, it's very good, dietforgreenplanet.se, dietforgreenplanet.se, and it's also in English, so you can uh, read more about us and our projects. Thank you.